Okay, because I, I know you. I noticed you hosted your Mastodon as well. Are those the? I hosted that as well. Yeah. Are those the only things that you host, or are there other things out there that are on your? Domain? There are other things as well. I also host my own uh, OCI registry, so for Docker images or what I use now, Podman images. Mm -hmm. That's what I what I have, and that's quite a necessary thing for me mm -hmm. to have. So I have that is, currently. Those three. So is that something you're hosting on your own hardware, or are you hosting on some? No. no okay. It's public. It's publicly accessible. It doesn't touch my network at all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's such a way that I would host it. That's a big no-no in my opinion. Why do you feel that? What? Why do you not think it should be on your own network? Because that that means I would have to open ports to my network, and Fair that's enough. not gonna happen. I know some people like the idea of, I, of like physically hosting your own. Oh, it's one thing to host your own local stuff. Like you want to host your own local yeah, backup. I example. host that. Yeah. I have that. I have a server for that. But whatever is publicly accessible, that that should be somewhere separate. Okay. If I had a separate connection for that, yes, I have a singular connection. No chance. You don't. You don't trust. That... If I was, if I was alone, living alone, sure. I don't right. live alone. Simple as that. So you don't want to put other people's data at risk by doing that? Yeah. Okay, no, that's like fair. That. That's totally fair. Other people's data experience, all that. Mm -hmm. but then I would have to fix it. <laughs> so <laughs> with the stuff that you, that you do host remotely, what made you want to go and host your own GitLab rather than use the main instance or your own Mastodons that are using any of the instances out there? Like, why, why do that yourself? Why go through the hassle? Uh, for GitLab, it is that I do a bunch of weird stuff. Right. A bunch of weird, crazy stuff with my code, with all the stuff, and I don't want to bog them down or anything like that. I know, I know what I'm doing is insane, so... I, I, I need an example stuff. here of what, what you're doing that's so Let's just say so uh, I, used to, I used to make... Uh, uh, anything that was art that wasn't in main repos, I used to build myself uh, with automation. Mm -hmm. So AUR, if it was AUR, it was in, in a GitLab repo on my server, and every day it was building. Right. So okay. stuff like that, that's compute and storage, I shouldn't waste on on them. Mm -hmm. Simple you know as that. Do? You, should do should... What, you should do what Ublue does and put it on GitHub. <laughs> I know we, we do that, but we do it for a reason. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We share it with public. Right, right. I right. didn't share it with public. I, said, I was the only user of it. No, that's and fair. I didn't want anyone else using it, to be mm -hmm. honest. So that's the reality. That's the, right. that's the reason why. And that's the same reason I don't have configs on my GitHub, GitLab, because I think it's just a waste of their, their space. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, only I will use it. Right, okay. No, I get that. that makes sense. So, what about the um the Mastodon then? Is that <clears throat> you don't trust that some instance that you're on is gonna go down no. or? Uh, I don't trust that for them to go down. Yeah, that's that would be more of a mainstream explanation. The sure. realistic explanation is that I switched to many servers. Mm -hmm. I was on one server. I don't even remember which one it was. I switched from that one, I believe I was deleted from it, or I, I, I deleted it myself, I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I forgot to even log in for a long time, so it got deleted that way. Mm -hmm. Then I was on another server, this was, oops, mm -hmm. and ah. that one shut down. Yep. And I was on another server, and again, forgot to use, to use Mastodon, so I got deleted from there, mm -hmm. or, or it closed down, I don't know. And then the, the latest craze about Mastodon came. I decided I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be looking into a new server when I forgot to log in for a year, because I will forget to log in. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna create my own server. Let's mm. see what happens. Mm. And yeah, it it's working. <laughs> well, if it's a single How user well, that's, instance, that's it shouldn't question. be that bad. Uh, architecture is uh, in such a way that 
I'm sure I'm sure uh, multiple of single users could could work on it. <laughs> I just I did an overkill solution. Okay. What I I don't even know the process of hosting Mastodon is, so I don't even know what an overkill solution would be in this case. Uh, I use three servers for what could be one. Let's <laughs> <laughs> just thing. say, uh, no, uh, I have a database server. I have uh -huh. a I have a main program server, so where uh -huh. Mastodon runs, and I have a server for what I call front-end, a.k.a. all it does is a proxy. A proxy layer. <laughs> Why? But it does allow me to do some stuff with other stuff. So on the same server, I have GitLab, I have my registry, all that. Okay. So those three servers now contain all my public infrastructure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Of course, I also did something special. And about a month ago, I went and and for about a couple of hours, turned off my proxy layer, so nothing was accessible. <laughs> and when it came back, it was working just fine as before. Oh, well, that's you good. You know what was the difference? I switched hey, look, to the server. At least, look, at uh, least the proxy layer came back. That's good. <laughs> yeah, it came back. It should have. It's Nginx, after all. Only <laughs> difference was it was compiled for a different architecture. Because I went and I... Is when then I bought a new virtual machine. Uh -huh. This time with ARM. So I have a... My proxy layer is ARM. <laughs> I can say I use ARM now. Why? Why Why? Why did you change the ARM? Why did you do that? <laughs> I, I need to know why you swapped to ARM. Say I use ARM. Right. That's, that's <laughs> the reason I tell people. Um, reality is... I save a dollar or euro. I sell a, sell, save a euro a month. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. That's so stupid. <laughs> this model is so overkill it's a for dual, what you're dual doing. Core, dual core. It, it's my. I, I play with that stuff. <clears throat> that's the point of it. Mm -hmm. If it goes down, it goes down. I don't care. It's. Mm -hmm. I they, I use it unless I, I said something to public so someone else can pull it from my, my thing. And that's it. Like, I use it outside of Mastodon. Mm -hmm. it, I'm the only person who accesses it normally. So if it goes down, it's my fault. That was kind of the point of it all. Right. So outside of doing this weird architecture, how difficult would you say for someone who's never like, hosted Mastodon to go and do it themselves. Because I know a lot of people will set up a Mastodon instance with one of the uh, Mastodon hosting providers, like, the ones who just do all of that stuff, like, automatically for you. But, like, if someone just wanted to go and do it, and yeah, how difficult would that be? It's somewhat simple. Okay. I use, a, I, of course, because of my experience, I use the Docker container. Right. Or Docker Compose file, which had multiple of same container, mm -hmm. and that is pretty simple. All I had to do was fill out a, uh, a their uh, configuration file properly, mm -hmm. set up, and set up a Postgres server and a Redis server. That's but it's all uh, that file was all all set up for me already. So all I had to do was enter the right links into it. Mm -hmm. The only problem comes uh, when you want. If you do it publicly, SSL, uh, that is, um, let's encrypt, let's be honest, free, why sure. not? And Nginx, if you're not versed in Nginx, you, you have a bit of trouble, you might have a bit of trouble configuring. But then again, there are configurations even for that are available publicly on GitHub and even wow, on their website. So you can use that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as a basis. So it's pretty streamlined. 